Hi, I'm Lizette LaForge from Beacon Windows, and we're here today at Condo on the Bay. I'm going to talk about the sliding glass doors and how we refurbish them. First thing we do is we use quality rollers, stainless steel rollers with precision steel bearings. It makes the door roll much easier. You won't hear this little sound that kind of sounds like a train rolling over the top of your head. And uh, that's very important when you're dealing with anything with salt, that you have stainless steel wherever possible. And the precision seal bearing allows the bearing areas not to get sand and salt and dirt in them. So that's really a great roller. The other thing we do that's uh, very helpful to the door is we replace the weather stripping. And if you take a look, weather stripping provides uh, basically quietness against noise. It also is excellent against rattling and drafts, as well as water intrusion. And this is an example. You can take your finger and rub up and down in this, and you can really see this, is, this has no tooth left to it. It's flat, um, and there's very little left. And what happens when you have doors that are like that, they have a tendency to wail in the wintertime or on an evening windy day. Uh, they get breezy, drafty, and sometimes you hear the rattling noises. So we don't want to hear that in our doors. The last thing we really look at on these doors is down here at the ground level. We look at the track. Now, so far we've noticed these tracks are in pretty good condition. We'll clean it up. We'll use a wire brush to give that a nice clean surface. Um, and then what we're looking for is gouging, dinging, or nicking. This has just the tiniest amount here, so it's probably okay till our next time around. But if your track does have damage, what we do is we use a capping rail to cover it. I think these are going to be okay without a capping rail. These seem to be rather strong tracks, so I think we're good on that. But when we're all done, we'll come back and show you how we've made this door beautiful. So we've completed the door, and now listen, it just moves very quickly and with just a touch. And if you listen carefully, you can hear a bit of a whooshing sound. Now that whooshing sound relates to the weather stripping that's been added to the door. We put a lot of weather stripping within the door, and I want to start by showing you this strip right in here. This helps with rattling, it also helps with air intrusion, and it's also a great defense against water. That's not all the whooshing, we really are hearing whooshing coming from the top. So if we look up at the top, you can see that there's basically a track up there, and there's two kinds of weather stripping in each direction up there, and that's designed so that air is not going to intrude up and over the track. One of the most important things when you're dealing with sliding glass doors to make them efficient is you need to put all the weather stripping back throughout the entire door system. Because as you put that weather stripping back and then align the doors to each other, this allows the doors to not only move smoothly, but also gives us the opportunity to really get the efficiency back in the door. And to us, that's absolutely key to making this door system well again. Now let's take a look at one more kind of weather stripping. This is called a sweep, and it's based down here at the bottom, and it's a rubberized skirt. The sweep plays a very important part in a door system because what it does is it first keeps air from intruding. It doesn't allow water during an aggressive rainstorm with a lot of wind to spit underneath the door and get on the floor on the inside. And that's very, very valuable. So when we finish up sliding glass doors, our goal is to make the entire system healthy. And when you do that, you must address all the five parts that make doors functional. And at Beacon Windows, we're very, very specific about that. Do not overlook things like quality rollers, great amounts of weather stripping, address any track issues as necessary, replace screws with stainless, and then adjust your locks and handles. So if you're having a problem with your sliding glass door, but you'd really like to keep the old one, please feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to help.